Nissan Parts fans, me and Tom are here today to talk about probably the only rogue red flag. <laughs> yes, of of recent days. Yeah. Um. So, it, I I swear we did a video talking about these a long time ago. Did we? Do you remember? I don't know. It might have been one of those solo videos you did. Back when Tom didn't want to talk to me anymore, um, <laughs> we had a falling out. I couldn't, I couldn't find the video, so maybe I just made it up in my head. But um, maybe you wanted to do a video and it just never materialized. That could be too. <laughs> that could definitely be. But I, I've definitely seen people talking about this on, you know, Facebook groups, Reddit, things like that. But on the what is it, a KR fifteen DDT DDT or something like that. The 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 three cylinder turbo motor they're putting in the rogues um, from the factory. They are coming with a plastic oil pan and they have a, a brass fitting that is like yeah, pressed insert. In, yeah. That's in the pan. And then you get a regular, you know, drain bolt that goes in there. Um, and it has it, it, it is on a label on the pan showing you what the, the torque specs are. Um, if you bought a replacement one, they actually had it stamped in there as well by the plug itself. But many a people just full send. Just want to flex. Yeah. I mean, if you Google, if you just Google image search, you can find people holding the inserts in their hands, you know. Blaming Nissan. Yeah. And I I understand. I'd be very frustrated if I did that. You I mean, it's a, it's a, like, you know, you want to just smash yourself in the head because, geez, man, why, did I, why didn't I read? Yeah, I mean... First of all, a plastic oil pan <laughs> is, is something else. I mean, I'm not an engineer, but I can remember when they start. you know, years and years ago, they started coming out with plastic intake manifolds. Intake manifolds. That's exactly where, and, yeah. And the first time I saw one was on a Dodge Neon that my buddy had. Are you kidding me right now? No. That's the first time I saw one. Yeah. And I was like, on a what red the hell is Dodge this? Neon. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell is this? And there was the intake manifold made yep. out of plastic. And I was like, okay, yeah, something's going on here. But anyway, um, as Russell said, you know, the the earlier design of this had a, a brass insert in, in there uh, that had, you know, a toothed edge around it. And people yeah. would just, you know, I've done a million oil changes. Yeah. Ugh. And then I mean, they just wrench the heck out of it. Just muscle memory. Spins. Yeah. I mean... Uh, they just ignore the three Newton meters. Well, which is it like 30. isn't much. It was like 30 or 37 on the... On the other ones. On the original. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Sorry. Uh, on this new one, this is a twist lock, um, one-time use only fill plug. Yeah. So... Um, that that th This is what sort of sprung this video. I was, I was doing a little bit of research on these pans and saw there was a new part number. Um, and I was looking at the drain plug. It was being listed as a single use part by Nissan, which means if you take it off the car, you need to replace it. And I was like, okay, well, this is interesting. So we kind of backtracked it a little bit. And, and Nissan, if you go into the, to the parts catalog of a Nissan parts employee goes in there now and looks up one of the earlier, you know, pre 25 models, um, you know, the 21 to 24, it's going to come up with that original part number with the brass fitting. But it's not gonna let you order it. You gotta. You have to change to this pan upgrade. Yeah, and then from there on out, you're gonna have to replace your drain plug every time, which I think in in hindsight is probably a. Hopefully, this will be a better setup for this plastic pan. I think it is. Yeah. Um. And what was the price on that drain plug? The drain plug is three dollars and sixty three cents. Yeah. Um. And I was saying that, you know, there's a sticker label on here yeah. that mentions the torque spec, max three Newton meters. But if you look close, you can see that there's a couple of ears that are going to stop you from going yeah. any further. So if you don't have a torque wrench, just as soon as you hit those stops, you're good. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't think I, I'd, yeah. I if mean, you go past those, it's your own fault. Yeah. And if you need a pan, if, if you do take your car to a dealership or you take it to Jiffy Lube or your buddy Bob, down the road does your oil change for you because he's a nice dude and he knows how to work on cars. He just wants to help. He wants to help. He's bored. He's retired. He, you know, he doesn't want money. He just wants your company while he changes your oil. Right. Um, you got to buy him a well, beer. How much was that? Do you Did you write down how much the pan was? Um, I did not. I got it here. I did um, not. What I was going to say is it comes with a drain plug. You get a pan and you get a gasket. Um, so 196.35 is how much this pan is currently retailing for. 
Um, who knows what the price will be in two months? It could be 500 bucks for all we know. Um, but as the time of this recording, I'd be interested to know any of you guys that own a rogue, have you run into any issues getting your oil changed anywhere and they mess up the drain plug? Um, I, I mean, you and they know, tell you it was already like that. Oh, Nisa. it was already loose when you came in. Yeah. We just had, we just had a car come in the shop yesterday, actually, um, that the tech came in before he took the plug out because he could tell already that that thing had already been, I think he probably went to bust it loose and it was tight, really tight. So he came in and was like, Hey, what are we, what are we doing about these pans? I mean, luckily we had one, one of these new ones. Um, he ended up not needing it, but yeah, that, that's a, um, I mean, how many times have we had cars come in here, CVTs, because they went to Jiffy Lube and they put the wrong fluid in right. it or, you know, I'm not going to say not to blame. I'm not going to hammer on those guys today, but I'm just saying, um, you know, when you read on Reddit, don't take your car to the dealership to get worked on. Right. <laughs> Ignore it. Every dealer is different, too. Mm -hmm. I, think, I mean, I, I can only speak for ours. Our, our guys are great. Yeah. I think most of the time. <laughs> um, I think that's all we got today, right? Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to kind of go through this oil pan because this is this is going to be this is going to be trickling out here. I think over the next couple of years, where people need these pans and people aren't going to understand. Well, my my pan doesn't have this kind of drain plug, right? Um, hopefully, you find your way to this video. We can explain it to you. Um, and if anything changes, we will let you know. Um, hit subscribe. Stick around. We'll do some more rogue videos at some point. Um, when does this video get dropped, Russell? Um, it is going to drop. This will be Friday. The what's today's date? Uh, the twenty seventh. Well, today's twenty sixth. Twenty seventh is when it'll drop. So, um, yeah. What were you going to say? I was just going to say uh, we have below employee pricing yeah. on the website right now, and it ends on this Sunday, which is going to be twenty seventh, the twenty ninth yeah. at midnight. So yeah. take advantage of the sale because that's the lowest. Oh man, yeah, pricing we've had. It. Ever, I think, at least since I've been here. Um, so get the things you want ASAP. If you're watching this video in the future, the sale already ended. But we might have, go to our new videos and watch one. Yes. We might have something else going on. And hey, subscribe. You too, <laughs> future people. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.